हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर एमसीक्यूज प्रोग्राम लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट वन नेशन वन प्रोडक्ट इनिशिएटिव टू सेंट्रलाइज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम्स इनटू सिंगल हब्स वन द इनिशिएटिव एम्स टू इंटीग्रेट रोडवेज रेलवेज एयरवेज वाटरवेज एंड रोप वेज इनटू सेंट्रलाइज्ड हब्स एंड टर्मिनल्स अक्रॉस इंडिया टू Two pilot hubs will be developed in Katra and Tirupati with additional hubs in Varanasi and Nagpur. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? The correct answer is option C, both one and two. The Ministry of Roads, Transport and Highways announced plans to centralize all transportation systems, roadways, railways, airways, waterways, and ropeways. into single hubs and terminals across india to streamline and enhance passenger convenience hence statement 1 is correct these terminals will serve as a one stop solution for connecting various modes of transport catering to 87% of passenger traffic that moves via roads in the country two pilot hubs will be developed in katra and tirupati along with another two in varanasi and nagpur through national highways logistics management that is nhlm a wholly owned subsidiary of the nhai hence statement 2 is also correct nhlm is responsible for spearheading pivotal initiatives aimed at improving transport logistics infrastructure and asset monetization hence option c is the correct answer now let's begin today's episode first question is consider the following statements one a blue moon is the second full moon that occurs within a single calendar month two a seasonal blue moon happens when there are four full moons in a single astronomical season which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two a blue moon is the second full moon that occurs within a single calendar month hence statement one is correct A full moon occurs when the earth sun and moon are in a line with the earth in the middle a seasonal blue moon occurs when a single astronomical season spring summer autumn or winter has four full moons instead of the usual three with the third full moon being called a blue moon hence statement 2 is correct hence option c is the correct answer next question consider the following statements about volcanoes One shield volcanoes are the most explosive volcanoes prone to collapsing inward during eruptions rather than building upwards. Two calderas are the largest and gentlest volcanoes on the earth formed primarily from basalt lava. Three magma is the molten rocks and related materials seen inside the earth. Which of the above statements is or are correct? Three only, one and two only, two only or one two and three. The correct answer is option A, three only. Calderas are the most explosive volcanoes, prone to collapsing inward during eruptions rather than building upwards. Hence, statement one is not correct. Shield volcanoes are the largest and gentlest volcanoes on the earth, formed primarily from basalt lava. Hence, statement two is not correct. Magma is the term used to denote the molten rocks and related materials seen inside the earth. Hence statement 3 is correct. A weaker zone of the mantle called the asthenosphere usually is the source of magma. Lava is the magma above the earth's surface. Hence option A is the correct answer. Next question, the National Geoscience Awards are conferred by which of the following ministries or departments? Department of Science and Technology, Ministry of Mines, Ministry of Earth Sciences or Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change? The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Mines. National Geoscience Awards is one of the oldest and most prestigious honors in the field established by the Ministry of Mines in 1966. Hence, option B is correct. Prior to 2009, these awards were known as the National Mineral Awards. Recently, the President of India conferred the National Geoscience Awards 2023 to 21 geoscientists. Professor Dheeraj Mohan Banerjee received the Lifetime Achievement Award for his pioneering work in phosphorides and Precambrian geology. Dr. Ashutosh Pandey was honored as the National Young Geoscientist for his research on the Eastern Dharwad Craton. 
हेंस ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिलेटेड टू द नेटल इंडियन कांग्रेस वन इट वॉज द फर्स्ट इंडियन कांग्रेस फाउंडेड बाय महात्मा गांधी इन एटीन एटी टू इट प्ले द की रोल इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द यूनाइटेड डेमोक्रेटिक फ्रंट विच ऑफ द अब स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट ओनली वन ओनली टू बोथ वन इन टू और नन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ओनली टू द नेटल इंडियन कांग्रेस वॉज द फर्स्ट इंडियन कांग्रेस फाउंडेड बाय महात्मा गांधी इन एटीन नाइनटी फोर टू फाइट अगेंस्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन फेस्ड बाय इंडियंस इन नेटल दैट इज प्रोविंस ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका हेन स्टेटमेंट वन इज नॉट करेक्ट फ्रॉम द नाइनटीन ट्वेंटीज द एन आई सी ऑपरेटेड अंडर द साउथ अफ्रीकन इंडियन कांग्रेस इन द मिड नाइनटीन एटीज द एन आई सी वॉज की इन फॉर्मिंग द यूनाइटेड डेमोक्रेटिक फ्रंट हेन स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट Despite not being officially banned, repression and harassment led the NIC to halt activities until its revival in 1971 with a focus on civic work. Hence option B is the correct answer. Next question, Gumti Wildlife Sanctuary, Roa Wildlife Sanctuary and Clouded Leopard National Park are located in Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura or Meghalaya. The correct answer is option C, Tripura. Tripura is the second most populous in the northeast region after Assam sharing borders with Bangladesh, Mizoram and Assam. Wildlife sanctuaries: Gumti Wildlife Sanctuary, Roa Wildlife Sanctuary, Sepahi Jhola Wildlife Sanctuary and Trishna Wildlife Sanctuary. And national parks are Bisan Rajbadi National Park and Clouded Leopard National Park. Hence option C is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statement 1 increasing workplace safety is an important factor in raising women's participation in the labor force and the workforce statement 2 closing the gender gap in labor force participation rates can raise the gross domestic product in developing countries significantly which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 Statement one is correct, but statement two is incorrect. Or statement one is incorrect, but statement two is correct. The correct answer is option A. Both statements one and two are correct, and statement two is the correct explanation for statement one. Increasing workplace safety is an important factor in raising women's participation in the labor force and the workforce. The former makes up for a broader cohort of those looking for work, in addition to those who are at work and comprise the workforce. Hence, statement one is correct. Closing the gender gap in labor force participation rates can raise the gross domestic product in developing countries significantly. Hence statement 2 is correct. If the gap between the LFPR of men and women is entirely closed, for instance, output could rise by more than a fifth by IMF's estimation. So both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Hence option A is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statements one quantum computers which can process vast amounts of information simultaneously could break existing encryptions in seconds two quantum cryptography is a method of securing transmissions using the principles of quantum mechanics three quantum key distribution allows two parties to share a secret key that can be used to encrypt or and decrypt messages How many of the statements given above is or are not correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option D, none. That is, all the statements are correct. Quantum computers which can process vast amounts of information simultaneously could break existing encryptions in seconds. Hence, statement one is correct. Quantum cryptography is a method of securing transmissions using the principles of quantum mechanics. Hence, statement two is correct. Quantum key distribution allows two parties to share a secret key that can be used to encrypt and decrypt messages. Hence statement 3 is correct. Hence option D is the correct answer. Next question consider the following statements. Statement 1 in the wake of climate change and the pressing need for sustainable agricultural practices, artificial intelligence based solutions and geospatial technology can change India's agricultural landscape. Statement 2 National Pest Surveillance System is an artificial intelligence based system that are helping in pest management across the country which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1
स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट बट स्टेटमेंट टू इज इन करेक्ट और स्टेटमेंट वन इज इन करेक्ट बट स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी बोथ स्टेटमेंट वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर स्टेटमेंट वन इन द वेक ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड द प्रेसिंग नीड फॉर सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिसेस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड सोल्यूशन एंड जियो स्पार्शियल टेक्नोलॉजी कैन चेंज इंडिया एग्रीकल्चरल लैंडस्केप हैं स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट नेशनल पेस्ट सर्विलांस सिस्टम इज एन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड सिस्टम दैट विल हेल्प इन पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट अक्रॉस द कंट्री हैं स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बेनिफिट अराउंड वन फोर्टी मिलियन फार्मर्स हु कैन टेक फोटोज ऑफ द इन्फेस्टेड क्रॉप और द पेस्ट एंड अपलोड दैम यूजिंग द एन पी एस एस प्लेटफॉर्म इट विल हेल्प एड्रेस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सेसिव पेस्टिसाइड यूज so both statements 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1 hence option b is the correct answer next question regarding jammu and kashmir reorganization act 2019 consider the following statements one the lieutenant governor has key powers including over the police appointment and transfer of civil servants sanction to prosecute and even finances to the new rules under the act lay down that the lg's decision cannot be reviewed by the council of ministers three the ministers schedules and or agendas of meetings will have to be submitted to lg's office at least two days earlier how many of the statements given above is or are not correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option d none that is all the statements are correct The lieutenant governor has key powers including over the police appointment and transfer of civil servants sanction to prosecute and even finances hence statement 1 is correct the new rules under the act lay down the lg's decisions cannot be reviewed by the council of ministers hence statement 2 is correct the ministers schedules and or agendas of meetings will have to be submitted to lg's office at least 2 days earlier Hence statement three is correct. Hence option D is the correct answer. Last question regarding mpox. Consider the following statements. One mpox, a viral illness caused by the monkeypox virus, has been declared a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization. To the PHEIC designation is the highest level of alarm under international health regulations IHR 2005, reflecting the disease potential to spread beyond Africa. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Mpox, a viral illness caused by the monkeypox virus, has been declared a public health emergency of international concern by the WHO. Hence, statement one is correct. The PHEIC designation is the highest level of alarm under international health regulations IHR 2005. reflecting the disease potential to spread beyond africa hence statement 2 is correct hence option c is the correct answer now moving on to practice question consider the following statements one india is the biggest bilateral lender to maldives and approximately 70% of the maldives sovereign guarantees are owed to indian lenders to the maldives has proposed to upgrade the current preferential trade agreement with india to a free trade agreement Three Maldives has upgraded the country's relations with China to a strategic comprehensive partnership and agreed to participate in the Global Security Initiative. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications